one in the NFL. Games were on Sunday. We saw a lot of action. A lot of action. I was so excited. I mean, literally, I had to be glued to the TV. There were so many games on. So much talent being shown. The parody in the NFL is great. I mean, that's that's what you look for in a league when you have that much parody. When you really don't know who's going to become... Oh, uh, I forgot about the New England Warriors. But you really don't know outside of that team who's really going to do what uh, from a season perspective. And, and even the teams with bad ratings can change their luck within the first few games. That said, who are the people in play that I want to talk about now? I want to talk about the passing game. Let's look at the stats, right? Who are the quarterbacks, the guys that shoot the ball off and make plays so receivers can catch and running backs can open, get their holes opened up so they can run? The QB, the most critical position um, on the offensive side, um, in my opinion, who performed? Andy Dalton, year after year after year after year, if you're just looking at stats, 35 for 51, okay, 418 yards. The man can rack up the stats. Two touchdowns. Bengals look pretty good. Great game for him, for Andy Dalton. I was excited to see what I saw from him again if he had even more receiver talent, I'm not saying he's weak in that area. I'm just saying if he had more, just imagine him um, on on the uh, uh, the Browns. Can you imagine that they swapped? You know, Andy Dalton on the Browns with all they got. I mean, it would be pretty sick. Andy Dalton, great first game. Is he warranted to be ranked number one? QB rating is at a 106. I'm going to tell you who's higher. The next guy down. I think this guy is actually a top guy. Mr. Dak Prescott. Shoot. Dallas Cowboys are back in action. I thought he was a mediocre C-plus quarterback. With this new offense for the Dallas Cowboys, Lord God have mercy. Thank you. I don't know if I would assign Zeke to all that money. I'm not too keen on signing running backs. I think they're a dime a dozen. However, whatever it was, there was a cohesiveness with the um, Dallas Cowboys. The receivers were gunning. Mr. Ross, I mean, I think this is an incredible team. And Dak Prescott is showing his flavor of his throwing arm, which I didn't think was existent. Still an accurate passer in the mid-range, but showed some long range as well. And finally, the offense has opened up for him. What did he do? 405 yards Four TDs. Jesus Christ. That's that line is top notch. I feel as though he did a little bit better than Mr. And, and even if you look at the percentage, 25 for 32, 78% of his throws were made. I got to appreciate that in a, in, a, in a quarterback. And I think he has week one. Next you on down, Matt Stafford. Not a bad game. Again, uh, you know, Maddie's been on this uh, Lions team for a while. Three touchdowns, 385. One of the highest paid quarterbacks, and deservedly so. He's been consistent year after year after year after year. Um, again, what he did for that team with that line, with those options, yeah, Maddie's up top. But Jesus, I mean, I just hope he gets to a point where he can get traded to a team that needs him. Tampa Bay Bucks, I'll get to you in another video. Is this somebody you could trade for? Because I would. Um, next up, Case Keenum from Washington. Not a bad night. Uh, you know, I thought it would immediately be uh, the team of their Ohio State rookie coming in. But no, Case Keenum is making the case for himself. I mean, great game for him. Uh, 34-44. Uh, 68% of his passes were made. Three touchdowns. Not a bad game. QB ranking of 117. I like what I saw from Case Keenum. My homies, where are my homies? Patrick Mahomes landed 75% of his passes, threw for 378 yards, three touchdowns. God, hey, 143 QB rating, worthwhile, okay? He would be second on my list after Dak Prescott, not being biased. Matt Stafford, a close second as well. I like what I saw from Patrick, consistency, and hey, he may be facing the guy below in somehow, some way. Tommy Brady, Jesus, 24 for 36, 341 yards, three touchdowns. 
124% QB rating. I think I think Tom Brady is 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 probably one of the most best pound for pound athletes in the, in the history of the game at his age doing what he's doing against these young angry rookies, excuse me, young men weighing over 300 to 200, you know, 280 pounds running 4-4s four and hitting you. You got to respect that Tom Brady even though I, I don't like the Patriots per se, I got to respect Tom Brady. That's my bias. Great game for Tommy. Philip Rivers you know what? He had a pretty good game, but then the mistakes, right? It's been the hallmark of his career. 333 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. But the one interception is just at the worst time. And, right, that's what happens, right? There's never a good time for an interception, but there is a worse time for an interception. And it was at a worse time for Phillip Rivers. However, pretty good game for him. LAC looked pretty good. Um, like to see how they continue to progress uh, in this league. Next one, Dad, I'm going to stop at probably the 14 or 15 mark. I think that's enough. Lamar Jackson, whoo! I love what I saw from him. 324, five touchdowns. He is a close second or third. Uh, so I got three people on that two line. So I got to put him third. QB ranking of 158. Great night for him. I, I really liked, like what I saw from Mr. Jackson. Five touchdowns once again. It was just like an NBA game with the scoreboard. Lamar Jackson, special talent. Baltimore has something going, and their defense looks good. They're dangerous. Carson Wentz, Philadelphia Eagles. Hey, Jameis Winston, you had Deshaun Jackson too, but, you know, the long ball is the best friend of Carson Wentz. He has the head. He has the line. He has the running back and the sprawls. Carson Wentz, great, great night yesterday, great day yesterday. I think there's still more to come from his talent and, and continue to expand. Uh, with the weapons that he has, I think this Philadelphia team is pretty dangerous and unsung hero, unsung hero on the east side uh, to try to win a championship. Next up, Kyler Murray, the rookie. Huh? Number one pick. Not bad, right? Threw for two touchdowns, one interception. He had a low QB rating, but, you know, I like what I saw from him. He's got to settle down a bit. He has to get higher in his accuracy. He's usually a guy who doesn't do 29 for 54. He's not usually half. He's usually at the 75 to 85% mark in college. Got to get him back there. This is the adjustment period. So that's what we see from Kyler Murray. Eli Manning from the New York Giants. Not a bad performance. However, not much shown, right? Not much shown. They got beat up pretty bad. There was no chance for them. However, Eli did have an okay showing. For a guy of his tenure, Matt Matt Ryan, again, another guy um, who did okay, two for two. You know, he made some mistakes. They struggled. They, they lost a lot of their power punch on their offense. They lost so much. But they still have Julio Jones. Throw it up somewhere near that man, and he makes things happen, and that's the best part of the game. I'm, I'm going to stop here because Baker Mayfield lost the game. So did Ben. Um, so did Garden. I mean, so these guys, no offense. I would actually put Marcus Mariota at a higher slot than these guys. He has 133 QB ranking. What a night for him showing what he can do with his team and making some of those guys look like super athletes. Uh, Mitchell Trubinsky. Yeesh, no, that's not him. I want to go to a 133 guy. 134. Russell Wilson, not a bad game. Not a bad game. Two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Took care of the ball, just didn't throw too many. Um, not bad, but hey, needs needs a lot more work to be up. You know, takes a lot more work to beat up the king of the crown right there for 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 Russell Wilson. So I like what I saw from him. I think that's an exciting number for the uh, Seattle Seahawks to be to be something to look forward to. Like, hey, we got we got a quarterback that got paid and hasn't gone on a downturn again. I know this is game one. Game one is game one, so. Uh, we'll see how he progresses in the next two games and see if this is real. Um, next up, next up, what you like to hear, right? <laughs> Jacoby Brissett, luck goes. Hey, cast your luck out. Brissett said, I got luck, baby. I got my lucky charms. He comes in, takes over that role. I like what I saw from Brissett. Um, pretty good game. Um, he, he has the potential to truly break uh, the number scene in fantasy as well as possibly beat a uh, yards pass record if he had the more weapons. All 
I stop right there because I'm trying to pause. Kirk Cousin has a 140 point QB ranking. So it's a lot of these guys on the bottom. That's because they have their second unit. Julian Elements up there as well. So really, in all, my top guys, Dak Prescott at one. I like uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes second, along with Matt Stafford, Lamar Jackson. And a 1A after Dak Prescott is a Andy Dalton. Great night from these guys. Case Keenum wasn't too bad, but really it was Lamar Jackson, Andy Dalton, Dak Prescott. Stafford and Mahomes, that was really the play for this week. And Carl, uh, Carson Wentz didn't do too bad in his initial video. So that's what we have for the NFL week one. It's all about the quarterbacks right now. And a lot of them need to put in work and get better. But they can at least show themselves to the NFL. And, and, and we can watch their progression. All four sports, I'm signing out. Peace.